What's going on guys and welcome back to Gear Related. Today we're going to be doing a video on what might be the best budget knife for 2023. So if you couldn't tell by the title, we're going to be going over the Civivi Mini Praxis today. I picked this thing up on Amazon for $29.99 and I think that's an awesome deal for what you're getting with this knife. Let's run into kind of why I picked it up. I bought this with my own money. No one asked me to do a review on this knife or any kind of video on it. I just kind of wanted to look around in the budget space because I've gotten tied up over the last few years of buying some more high-end knives and, and I still think a lot of companies make a lot of great budget options. Actually nowadays there's tons of awesome like really quality budget options out there. It really wasn't that way just probably like six seven years ago when I was kind of really diving into EDC knives. Like this knife comes in D2 blade still for $29. I remember just two or three years ago when the Elementum came out, it was a huge thing that that knife was going to be like $50 and it also had D2 blade steel. So we're constantly just setting the bar lower and lower, getting better materials for a lower price point. And I really do like that. I know just from the general public, if you tell someone like, oh yeah, this is a $200 knife or a $300 knife, you get kind of a shocked reaction from the general public because they can't imagine spending that much on just a little pocket knife. I still want to do videos like that for people who aren't going to spend two or $300 on an EDC knife, but still want a good quality option to carry in their pocket. All right, let's jump into some actual specs of this knife. It's coming in with an overall length of 6.79 inches, a width of 1.27 inches, an overall height, including the clip of 0.62 inches. The blade length on this thing is gonna be 2.98 inches long, so almost a three inch blade there. The close length on this thing is gonna be 3.81 inches, blade thickness of 0.1 inches. The handle thickness is 0.45 inches, and the overall weight on this thing is gonna be 2.77 ounces or 78.5 grams. Like we stated earlier, this is D2 blade steel. And it's got this awesome little flipper on it. It's a liner lock and it really doesn't feel like a 20 $29 knife. The thing I like about this knife is you can get D2 blade steel for $29 and that's a pretty good deal. I also like the ergonomics on this thing is you can look, it's got these little grooves that just really fit your fingers nicely. I have what you would call a large glove size hand and my hand fits this thing really nicely. Uh, it's also got this little chool here so you can choke up on the knife if needed. If I had to look for any gripes about this knife, it would probably just be that it's a liner lock and that's just a personal thing. I don't prefer liner locks over all the other locking mechanisms out there. Also on the actual liner lock itself, it's kind of hard to close. Like I feel like this jimping here should be sticking out a little bit more on there so you could actually get your finger in there a little bit better like you can still close it but if you tell you like i'm kind of shaking on it here it's just not the easiest for your finger to find like other knobs you don't really have to think about it or anything your finger just knows where to find it you slide right in there and closes it with this one and i find that with a lot of liner locks it's one of the reasons i don't really like them they're not the easiest knives to close and your fingers are still in the way when you are closing them if you're looking to continue improving your edc then be sure and check out this video here where we go over another awesome piece of gear thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you on the next one